Listen to this AI-generated voiceover. I can't believe it, this is really happening. Are you serious? Pretty lifeless, right? Like a machine just reading off a script. Now, listen to this one. I can't believe it. This is really happening. Are you serious? Hear the difference? It sounds completely natural. By using the techniques I'm about to show you, you'll learn how to make your AI-generated voice in Eleven Labs actually feel something. And trust me, once you get the hang of these tricks, you'll never go back to those dull, robotic voices again. You'll find links to use Eleven Labs with all the exclusive discounts in the description below. First things first, you need to pick the right voice. Not all voices in Eleven Labs are the same. If your chosen voice sounds too stiff or monotone, don't just settle for it. Explore the voices section in the left toolbar, where people have already created and shared expressive voices. If that still doesn't give you what you need, you can try instant or professional voice cloning. This premium feature lets you use a real human voice as a base, making it much easier to add natural emotions to your speech. And if you want to take it even further, you can build your own voice from scratch using voice design, which we'll get to in a bit. I really like Liam's voice here, so let's click Use and jump into the Generating and Editing dashboard. Now, let's talk about how you write your text. If you just type out basic dialogue, the AI is going to read it in a flat, basic way. Instead, you need to guide it, set the tone, add emotion, and shape the way it delivers the lines. Think of it like writing a book, describe emotions, add little details, and set the mood. For example, instead of writing, I can't believe you did this to me. He took a shaky breath, his voice barely a whisper. I, I can't believe you did this to me. You could write, even though the AI will read the extra details, it helps shape how the voice delivers the line. Later, you can edit out the descriptions in an audio editor, but the result will sound so much more natural. You can also tweak some settings here. Eleven Labs gives us some really useful sliders to fine-tune how the voice behaves. Take style exaggeration, for example. Increasing it just a little, around 5 to 6%, can make the voice sound much more dynamic and natural. Let's check out the difference in this audio. He took a shaky breath, his voice barely a whisper. I... I can't believe you did this to me. Another easy way to add some punch to your voice is to emphasize certain words. AI reads all text the same unless you tell it otherwise. Capital letters are a great way to do this. If you write, I don't know what you mean. This can't be real. It sounds neutral. But if you write, I don't know what you mean. This can't be real. Suddenly, there's intensity. You can mix it up too, like, I, I don't know what you mean. This can't be real. For a more natural effect, just don't go overboard, or it might sound exaggerated in a weird way. And since this last line is packed with emotion, we can make it sound even better by lowering the stability a bit. Make sure to tweak it based on what you need. If you set it too high, the voice stays consistent but might sound robotic. If you set it too low, it becomes more expressive, but it can fluctuate too much. I'm setting it at 32% for a good balance. The similarity option controls how closely the AI sticks to the original voice model. Keeping it between 70 and 90% usually gives the best results, natural and expressive, without losing the core voice. Now, here's the last and most important trick. Pauses. If you want your voiceover to sound natural, you have to give it time to breathe. Humans don't speak in one endless stream of words. We stop, we hesitate, and we build tension. The best way to do this is by using break tags. For example, instead of writing, I can't believe it, this is really happening. Are you serious? You should write. I can't believe it. This is really happening. Are you serious? See how that makes the speech flow way more naturally? If you don't want to use break tags, you can also add dashes or ellipses. I can't believe it. This is really happening. Are you serious? Either way, adding these little pauses makes a huge difference. If none of the default voices are giving you what you need, this is where voice design comes in. It lets you build a completely new voice with the tone, age, and accent you want. To do this, go to the Voices tab, 
click Add a new voice, and then select Voice Design. You'll be asked to describe the kind of voice you want, such as a deep, warm storyteller voice with a hint of mystery. After that, add some sample text and generate the voice. It might take a few tries to get something that feels just right, but you'll have a fully custom emotional voice once you do. At the end, you'll see three different options, go ahead and choose the one that sounds the best to you. Before we go, here's a tip. Generate your text in small sections instead of uploading an entire paragraph or script at once. Smaller chunks allow the AI to focus better, producing a more natural and expressive voice. Finally, let's talk about pricing real quick. There's a free plan that gives you 10,000 credits per month, but the most popular option is the creator plan for $11 a month, which gives you 100,000 credits per month, plus you get 50% off for the first month. So try it out with the tricks you learned here using the link in the description. Now that you've learned how to generate expressive voices, the next step is to create engaging avatars for your faceless channel by watching this video next.